Hey guys, this evening I'm going to do a quick review of an application called Jobber. Uh, we recently had a client that was interested in doing some upgrades between their QuickBooks desktop QuickBooks Online uh, company file. And what we found was we felt probably the best suggestion was actually for them to implement a field service type application, which is leading to the review we're about to do right now. So I'm going to dive in, let's share my screen and just kind of do a, an unboxing, if you will, of what we currently have. So again, this is Jobber. And if we get started off, we'll go straight to the basic dashboard. I already went in earlier, did a quick video of just getting started, kind of popping some details in, everything else. But as an overview, once you have a couple jobs in, you would see your daily activities as you're seeing here. I've gone in and I've added in a couple of requests, maybe a couple of like invoices, those type of details. And it actually has great sample data so you can get an idea of what you would see anyways. So we have one unassigned scheduled item for today. We can click on that. And it's gonna bring up a request that came through from a previous client. I need hot water. It's going to tell you the location of it, the details. If you've assigned it to somebody, and if it hasn't been, you could actually click and then choose who to assign this to, depending on which teammates you have here. Um, click boom, good to go. And then I could click save. And now that will put it onto my calendar. For the calendar, there's a couple different ways to view this. You can look at it from a monthly view, uh, of course, weekly, grid as well, and depending on how you schedule out your day, how many employees you have, so forth, you can have this kind of overlapping so you can see who's available or not for, for dispatch purposes. Uh, uh, dispatcher is one of the roles that this application will let you actually um, set somebody up as. So we set up something for a bathroom wall leak for a couple days. Um, one of the other things I really like, this is the different employees, if we had more employees. I like the map view as well. So here we've got this one specific day. We have a couple different items that have to be handled during that day. And it's showing the different locations because this will give the ability for the actual, you can use the phone app. Your uh, technicians could use it to get directions to where they have to go to. Uh, they can also, if you assign ahead of time, they know exactly what they're doing and just those things. Um, Again, you could rearrange the order. So since this is any time, we should be able to take and move this one up. Let's see here. Eh, something like that. So then we've got our list, which would be all of our different items that need to be handled. But some of the other items I really like about this. So you go into the client list. Um, of course, you have your properties and your people, which are all part of that list. The idea being that you may have a property that could have multiple jobs to it or the people that are part of that property. So it's, it's like a CRM aspect of it. Um, again, we've got a whole bunch of fake sample data in here, which is great. It kind of gives us a good overview. Why don't we kick, click on Casey here? And when you dive into that client... We'll see Casey, see the address of the person, see the different uh, tasks or active work that's going on. So whether it's a quote we've got out and pending, which on the quote, you can adjust the way this will look, the information you want to be seen on here, how many custom fields. There's quite a few custom fields you can add to it as well. Um, and then you can very easily go through, convert it to a job if it's been accepted collect a signature on it, which I think is really, really important. Let's try clicking that for the heck of it. Um, so this would be having it on your pad, having somebody sign right when you're there in front of them, and then you can send them a copy as well. So you, uh, the goal being you go out to quote a job, create the quote, perfect, they sign off, get the work going, get the job done. Um, let's go back over to our, so again, our people area, we clicked into here. And we've got additional details here. So your active work, any requests that came from that person. So maybe you have somebody that just sends you a lot of work. Maybe they, uh, it's a property management company that has a lot of different properties. That would be an example of this where they've got different requests. Quotes, 
see uh, to track whether you've won the quote, whether it's still pending, so forth, different jobs that you're on, and then the invoicing. Um, in a moment, what I'll show you is they actually have a client portal aspect to this as well. So your client can log in, like this person would be able to go in and see all the different quotes, their invoices, all that information, which I think is great because it's, hey, it's, they may use it, they may not, but it gives them a way to get the information that they need without necessarily having to interrupt you, but you're still the one that's giving them the content, so you're still doing the job. Um, internal notes, hidden away, you've got your attachments, of course, properties, exact same idea. You come into a property here, now you see the property, you should see the people that are connected to it. We can see that I just scheduled um, a request, I need hot water, different things for the week. Um, again, active work, requests, quotes, jobs, so forth. Show on the map, adjust the location of it, add things on the fly. So now if I go into the work tab, I mean, this is really probably the most important part of it. They do have an add-on for expense tracking. So if you can get your teammates used to using the application and adding in their different expenses, this really could be useful to help mitigate some of the um, expense reports maybe that you have to create if they're having to put onto cards, so forth. Uh, you can also add time. So we've got timesheets on here. You can choose a category. Uh, it looks like you can choose basically a person or an active job to assign it to. Uh, oops, we'll go start time, 8 a.m., and we'll say 3 p.m. Duration of time. We'll go testing time. Save. So that should actually tag it straight to that job, which is great. Then when you'd go for approving timesheets, you'd be able to see through here. Haven't gone through this whole part of it to see exactly how it goes to payroll or the integration aspect of it, but perhaps in a different video, we could go over that as well. Uh, I'm gonna go back to my work tab, trying to go through this somewhat fast, but just so you can get more, uh, get to see more of the app itself. Um, we can add a new job. We can see we've got five active ones. We've got one that's uh, requiring invoicing like it's done. Uh, then your invoices, a waiting payment, your quotes, people responded, so forth. Um, requests are pretty cool. I do like, I like this idea. I like the concept that you're going to have somebody just send in a request for additional assistance. It'd be great again. Apartment complex. If you're the person that's going to be taking care of this, if you're the foreman or uh, the property manager, having it set up where each different tenant could actually make a request through this, that could be another good use of this. Um, going to our quotes. So the quotes, jobs, invoices, all that stuff, you can really fine tune the way you want this stuff to look. I'm gonna go up to the top right gear icon here. I'm gonna go into settings. And through here, you can go to your branding. Set up, of course, your company logo, company information. I really dig the fact you can add the social networks on. Where this comes into play is it, when the inside of the client portal, what will happen is it gives you the ability that you can actually, they can contact you by going straight to social media. Now, as long as you're doing a good job, that's a good thing. If you're not, maybe not such a good thing. Um, went into here to open the, uh, so you can customize your PDF settings. So for invoices, you can come in, you can add in a whole bunch of language at the bottom here, which ends up in this bottom little corner here. So I repeated a whole bunch of the same language, just copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, because I wanted to see what this was going to look like when it was all said and done. Pop this open real quick. Bring it over. And this is without me really doing any fancy customization or anything. But you can see all the language we added in, details of it all, company logo. You can choose what other information is showing in here. I have it not fully set again. So this can be more attractive, I'm, I'm certain. Um, and you can change it for your different quotes, your jobs, of course, different language on each of those. Uh, and then again, style-wise, you do have a couple of different choices. Change it back to a basic style, maybe more of a modern. Yeah, let's go small. Bring the same thing over. And pretty close to the same idea, shrunk down just a little bit. Now, 
One of the things I really liked, as I was saying before, is I liked the client hub. So in the client hub, if you come in and you set up the settings, you can choose what they are or are not allowed to see, uh, whether you want to have quote approvals come through here as well. And at the very bottom appointments, everything else. So here we should have copy our URL and let's go over, we'll paste this in. Last time I did this, I had to go and get my email from it. So we should be able to just log into my email and click the same link I would assume. Go into here. And let's see here. Updates. You're logging. There we go. So now this is the client hub. So from here, I could actually make a request for new work to be done. Tells the address. Testing the client hub. <laughs> Uh, portal, boom. And of course, spelling is wonderful. I'm an accountant, that's okay. Requests. So it's gonna show different requests that you made. Quotes, if you've got quotes that are pending like we had one here, I can, as a client, click onto this now. And now I'm seeing the quote. I'm seeing the details that were auto-populated from it because that's what we set it as, and the amount. Um, it looks like this one has already been approved, but I could print it as well. I could see my appointments coming up. So this is a reoccurring appointment. I've got one for 3 p.m. tomorrow. Click on that. Who's coming? So I could see the employee. Uh, you can have a profile picture, make him feel more comfortable about who's coming out, the location of it at the time. You can see your invoices that you've previously had sent over. So it looks like we haven't paid this one yet. Um, if we had the merchant processing set up and they do have special rates that you could use, you could actually have it to where your clients could pay straight through this as well. Um, now, this is the thing I was telling you before, contacting us. So I put Facebook, Twitter. Click on Facebook. Boom. It's going to pull up our company's Facebook page to where they could then reach out and connect to us. So do a good job so you get good contacts, <laughs> of course. Um, so I, I really think this is a great add-on. I've, I've only seen one or two other companies that do a lot of stuff like this. And nowadays, it's really important that you've got that social media aspect to it as well. Because if you're really doing a great job, you're really taking care of your clients, that also means they've got a, a direct way to go and just give you a review, post a picture, anything along those means. Um, so that was a very, very fast throw it at you super quick review of Jobber. Um, they do tons of reporting throughout all of this as well that you can click on. There isn't much data in here, so it's kind of hard for me to show some of that, but you can see like your one of jobs. You could see your, you know, what income you've got coming in, so forth. Client communications, it looks like. Um, and then one other super important part, of course, would be going into settings here and the accounting sync, of course. So I could connect this to QuickBooks Online or Xero. And once I do that, it's going to pull data from Jobber into QuickBooks Online. Now I'm gonna to need to do a more deep dive review of exactly how the data is pulled. That's something that's very, very, very important to us to make sure that we're able to really, you know, ensure the quality of data that's being synced back and forth. One way sync, two way sync, so forth. But um, look for another video onto that or reach out through Facebook if you've got some questions or even through our, our website. So I hope this super fast, really compacted review of Jobber is helpful to somebody out there. At least you got to see some of the, uh, the different screenshots, so forth. And I hope that our client we're doing this for finds this uh, useful as well. In the meantime, as I said, you can always check us out on Facebook, Parkway Business Solutions. It's uh, www.facebook.com forward slash Parkway Inc. But if you're not familiar, we also have a great community. Uh, it's a QB Community Live that we are always posting different guides, tutorials, stuff like this on here all the time. It is amazing for uh, small business owners, as well as accountants and bookkeepers. If you have questions about how to do stuff within your accounting platform, jump in, ask. There's tons of people willing to help, an help answer questions for you. Uh, we firmly believe that together we all succeed. So on that note, I leave you to it. 
And here's wishing you a very successful week. Thanks.